Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going on a wine tour. Wine tour. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not drinking that much because I'm driving. So being responsible, like always. Don't drink and drive, kids. So <laughs> I'm gonna pick up Paulina. You've seen her before. She's the founder, co-founder of San Diego Style Bloggers. So I'm gonna go pick her up right now. Where's my phone? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick her up right now and then head over to where we're gonna meet up with the other bloggers. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Lots of limo buzz we were just in. We finally made it to Temecula and I'm kind of dizzy because <laughs> I get car sick very easily. Oh, and I was listening to Phoenix the whole way through. The limo driver, he is a Phoenix fan, I guess. So I was hearing, I'm like, hey, this is like a really obscure song. And then I'm just like, okay, this guy has to be a Phoenix fan. And I just like told him that I liked his playlist because I'm a huge Phoenix fan. So yeah, what a dork. I'm a dork. And here is Ale Bao. That's a legitimate smile. Monse over there. So we just made it. I'm just very glad to finally get some fresh air because <laughs> I was so dizzy. So yeah, and that was the limo bus once again without everyone in there. So yeah, we're in Temecula. I, I think I've only been to Temecula like maybe like twice in my life. I don't know, everything looks so foreign and non-city like so. <laughs> Lots of horses, lots of farms and stuff, so that's kind of different. But yeah, hopefully I can check in on Yelp. But as you can see, it's a 35 acre estate. Right now, doesn't look as exciting because obviously it's not green and lush. But we're getting ready. They've done all of the um, trimming back because come March is when bud break happens. So when things start to sprout and turn green and everything starts to grow. So right now it's still in the dormancy stage. But it's kind of cool today that it is a little overcast because you can kind of get the feel of what it's like out here because it's these conditions, it's that kind of fog, it's that mist that makes this such a thriving, growing, wine-growing region, essentially. This is my kind of weather. Cloudy, a little foggy, chilly, and yeah, this is my kind of weather right now. Here are the vines. They're dry right now, and I'm walking really dumb because we're going like downhill. <laughs> clumsy so yeah these are some of the vines so this is the winery this is our production facility this is considered to be our tank farm so this is where all of our stainless steel tanks are located now we use these stainless steel tanks for fermentation and for storage um, I don't know how familiar you are with wine production but essentially we take the grape juice we add some yeast to start the fermentation process and that yeast breaks down the sugar um, and it breaks it down into carbon dioxide and alcohol and so that's all going to happen inside the tanks themselves. We made all the wine and we're getting ready to, number one, bottle all of our whites because most of our whites don't go into barrel. And number two, the red wines are getting ready, our 2013s, to go into barrel so they can start their aging process. 2,697 <laughs> gallons. That's a lot. A lot, a lot of wine. This one's even taller. Damn. Ready to go into barrel right now. So we're getting ready to put it off site in our barrel storage facility. And so I'm gonna give you a little taste so you can see what a wine tastes okay. like, a red wine tastes like before it actually goes into the barrel. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and if you guys can pull out these real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Wow. So some winery. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> then, okay, go. Is this what you do at lunchtime? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know it's hardly enough to be a meal. <laughs> so this is the part of the fermenter. Right. This is after the fermentation okay. process, before it goes into barrel aging. So we're in the wine tasting room. There's a lot of people here, and there's like a little shop, so you can get little souvenirs if you want to. There's the oak barrels, uh, more wine stuff. I still have my wine right here. Woo, wine! So, yeah, we have a bunch of like little souvenirs and stuff. There's Ale, Paulina, they have hoodies, 
uh, coffee mugs, chocolate, <laughs> selfies. Todavía no, no. Todavía no. Está viendo el espejo. Thank you. I'm having a little bit of the orange muscat right now. It is so good. It is a sweet wine. It has a lot of citrus notes. So you guys know that I like citrusy things. So I'm enjoying myself. This is delicious. And it says it. It says that it pairs with uh, blue cheese really well, and I love blue cheese, so yeah. Cheers, everyone, if you're 21 and above or 18, depending on your country, but cheers, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. So this is a sabrosa, and it has uh, honeysuckle, grapefruit, flavors are sweet pear, nectarine. And again, I'm going for the citrusy ones because I love it. So let's see how it is. I taste the pear more than anything, but it's good, it's nice, nice and sweet. <laughs> Here's Francis's cousin. <laughs> Oh, how cute! <laughs> Good luck. I am now trying the pink wine, Prêt Pousse, that is French for very pink. So, Prêt Pousse, this is how it is. It kind of tastes like sparkling wine a little. Very sweet, like strawberry. Oh. I'm going for the sweet wines today. I would, I like red wine, but I have to be like eating like a steak or like something, I don't know, something heavier. <laughs> steak or uh, pasta, whatever, but we're not you eating right now, have, so yeah. You guys should have this one. Oh, oh I thought it was vlog. <laughs> vlog. <laughs> vlog mirror. Well, it has vlog mirror. in there. <laughs> That's like the, hey, I, I, I would probably like it though. Green apple, honey, suckle, apricot, pineapple. Maybe I'll try it. So we're in the limo bus right now. Here are some vloggers and Ale <laughs> vlogging Inception. There, <laughs> there's more vloggers, Paulina, Monse, my new travel vlogger friends. And yeah, you want to go, go first? So. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna head to another winery right now. Like, me and a couple of vloggers were talking about traveling, so I got really into the conversation and wasn't vlogging. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head to another winery right now. So I'll get back to you once we're there. Video, yeah. So we're currently in Miramonte Winery and so we have a blackboard here and I'm just checking in on Foursquare because that's what I do so walking towards the bar area It's actually pretty hot right now The dog crashing the vlog photos So cute He's like, I'm out of here <laughs> behind the scenes so I just had pictures taken not too long ago you'll see them on the blog this week sometime this week maybe Thursday or Friday I don't know we'll see but um yeah we're just taking pictures I think after this we're heading back so after that I think we're gonna go eat because we're all gonna get pretty hungry after all the wine but um yeah it's a really nice day Lots of bloggers, lots of vineyards, or vine this is a vineyard, lots of vines, here we go, lots of vines, good wine, good friends, good times. Did I just, did I just quote something? I have no idea. I always feel like such a wuss when I have to like walk down the hill. But um, 
I don't know if I've told you guys that I injured my knee the first time I went to France in 2008. Yeah, no, World War II bunker. Very ironic. The American gets injured in a World War II bunker. But yeah, it happened. When, when I went back to Paris for studying abroad, I injured the same knee. I didn't, the first time I tore my meniscus. Second time I just sprained it, but it was still pretty bad. So my left knee is pretty weak. I have to be very careful when I like walk or like downhill. So yeah, I'm always like the grandma of the group. <laughs> just really slow, like uh. <laughs> uphill is no problem. Downhill, I'm just like gotta be careful. But yeah, that's a random story that I've never told you guys. But maybe you'll hear it again when I do my 50 facts about me video that people seem to be requesting on my blog poll which you guys need to go and vote whenever you want to contribute or voice your opinion on what videos you want to see so people want to see the 50 facts about me so yeah well hello Sofia Coppola oh, it's so nice seeing her in the ad she looks very pretty I might want to recreate that look and hi Giselle I don't care about you. We're gonna eat at the... It's a burger's place. I've never been here before. I don't know. I guess you like make your own custom burger. There's like little iPads and stuff. So it looks very interesting. I've never even seen this place. It's gonna be very vlog worthy. So looking forward to that. How would you like to drink, girls? Uh, water. <laughs> she was thinking another cup of wine. Yeah, you do everything through an iPad. Dinner is served. So the Peter Piloto stuff, Piloto, yeah, it would be Italian. The stuff came out today and there's actually a lot of things still here. Usually this stuff sells out pretty quickly, but I don't know, there's still a lot of stuff. I might get something, I don't know, we'll see. I like this, this is like me. Hmm, I like it, let me see. $30? Hey, that's not bad. So I'm still here at Target, as you can see. I'm in the mirror section. Uh, they didn't have any large, so I'm gonna get the medium and just not wear any tops underneath, because, yeah, or I lose weight, like I'm planning to. So yeah, I'm here. Got Found another wood with candle for $5, which is very nice. And I really want this, but I don't need it, but I think it will look so nice for like product pictures, focus, that. Oh man, it will look so nice. 